Hey, I'm Sue Bird. I'm from New York, and I play for the Seattle Storm in the WNBA. I'm in beautiful St. Thomas, and I'm shooting for Sports Illustrated Swimsuit. I mean, being on set's amazing because you kind of walk into this, you don't really know what to expect, you know you're going to be in some bathing suits, and then you get there and you have an amazing photographer in Loretta, and then you've got the best hype woman of all time in MJ. I was like, can I just bring you everywhere with me, like my games, to the grocery store, like anytime I'm feeling down? She just makes you feel like so powerful when you're in front of that camera, and then of course she's super sweet as well. In sports, you know, you might have encouragement, but you might not also be like telling people how you're feeling. You're not, you're not going into practice and you're like, hey guys, today I'm a little uncomfortable or today I'm a little you know, apprehensive. You're not really having those moments. Um, but here, you're much more vulnerable in those ways. And I think that's what's kind of like a, a different feeling is that you have people guiding you through step by step. It was cool to be around like younger WNBA players, but it was it was really fun. It was really fun just to go through that experience with them. And, and I was lucky because the group shot was the first day for me. Um, once the shoot was over, we all went to dinner and stuff. We were kind of just chatting and, and somebody had brought up like how um, Loretta was one of the first um, black women to shoot a cover, but also one of the, just the first women. And I was like, wait, men are usually behind the camera? <laughs> it felt really, I don't know, natural when she would tell you what to do or kind of instruct you or give you ideas or even she was like, hey, just, you know, be loose and play with it. Like, it just felt different, I think, coming from a woman. Um, so to be able to come here and kind of celebrate that aspect of, of my career is something I'm really proud of. When I was little, I was a total tomboy. Before I could get into sports, it was like I was riding a bike, I was climbing a tree, I was like doing the things. Once I was able to start joining teams, which was like as soon as possible. I played soccer, I played basketball obviously, um, I tried softball out, I ran track. I know my mom like lied to get me into certain camps when I was a kid. She's like, oh, she's 10, it's fine, when I was like seven. But yeah, once I could start joining teams, probably around second grade, I was on all those teams and that went all the way through high school. So my second love, maybe my first at the start was soccer. I was really into soccer, played very competitively and it wasn't until my sophomore year of high school where I basically transferred schools and the school I was going to, a school had an amazing basketball team where I was gonna get like an amazing experience and they didn't have a soccer team. So no more soccer. And so I knew that I knew that going in, but that was the moment where I like decided, I was like, all right, it's basketball. But it wasn't up until then. I, I really didn't know, I was totally stuck. So when Megan and I were on vacation with a bunch of friends, um, I had no idea she was about to propose. Um, we were on vacation with friends. It was right after, it was like the fall of 2020. And so she planned this huge vacation. There was like nine or 10 of us. It was my 40th birthday. So that was kind of like, you know, the reason we all went. And we were just having a great time. We were in the pool one day, just kicking it. All of a sudden I was like, are you getting on a knee? Like what's happening? Maybe, you know, like, is this? And like, nobody knew it wasn't like, somebody kind of joked like, oh, what are you doing, proposing? And I think it like put a little, and she was like, well, yeah, I am. And she just like took a ring off her finger, it's this one, literally just took this, it's just a gold band, took it off her finger, gave me some sweet nothings, and then, boop, thank you. I think Coach Ariyama, he's like very good at the like life lessons, you know, and he would always say, basketball is not a game of how to, it's a game of when to. You learn this very quickly when you become a professional. Everybody can pass, everybody can shoot, everybody can dribble, everybody can do the things. But not everybody knows when to do those things, like when to pass, when to dribble. And that subtle difference is what makes, you know, a player make the WNBA or not, literally. So I've always tried to live by that, but it, it really does apply to life. So I have really gone out of my way, because it's not my strong, <laughs> my strong suit, to just be nice to myself, like show myself some grace, be kind, whatever you want to call it. And it's really helped. It's like nice to give yourself like a free pass every once in a while. You know what, I'm not going to stress about that. I know I did something really dumb, but I'm just not going to stress about it. It is what it is. Myself, Alex Morgan, Chloe Kim, and Simone Manuel. Four female athletes in totally different sports, totally different worlds, um, came together and started Together, which is um, like our media commerce production company. And it was really Alex who had the idea. But it was, it was at some point, let's call it 2019, where Alex um, gave me a call, kind of explained what it was, asked if I was interested, of course I was. 
And so while I'm not sure when the idea was born for her, it was definitely like her brainchild. She was like, wait a minute. And the way I remember her telling me was, you know, there's all types of companies like this that exist now, but it's all male driven. It's all male coverage. Women only get like 4% of total coverage. It was her kind of like put your money where your mouth is moment and it became all of our put your money where your mouth is moment because we complain about this, we want more coverage. The whole idea is sharing the spotlight, giving the spotlight, right, to women, women in sports, women of color, but it's not just sports, it's also like lifestyle, culture, because it's all interconnected these days anyways. Like we're helping younger girls, we're giving them role models, we're, having, we're, we're allowing them to see people they can look up to and you know, see it and be it.